Friday, January 12th, approximately 10.40 a.m. And this is uh, just a little bit of an intermission between my Sunday service uh, sermons, if you will. And uh, I would like to thank those that have been inquiring about how I am doing, as well as what it's been like here in my neck of the woods in Michigan, southwestern Michigan. And contrary to what has been reported, this is what it is currently like here. Far from what has been predicted and forecasted. And something else that I would like to note is I am one that likes to live as cheap as possible and, you know, conserve as much as possible. And therefore, I do not have Wi-Fi, I do not have cable TV, and so on and so forth. I do have antenna TV, in which, in the past, I have shown you multiple videos from our local radar channel. And this is the case. Shortly after the beginning of this year, our radar channel, the only televised radar channel, has disappeared. People that I have been in contact with, and the subject comes up, we are scratching our heads as to why the sudden disappearance of the radar channel. Initially, I thought maybe it had to do with uh, the switch over to newer technologies and so on and so forth. I'm not too sure if that is indeed the case or not. But now, uh, we want to see anything on radar. It has to be through a mobile app. And even at that, when you are used to the televised radar and you switch over to the mobile app, it gets a little confusing because of the colorations difference of precipitation. And which our mobile, the, well, the radar that I use through my mobile app was actually showing precipitation, but not of the frozen kind. Now, we, I just came back from downtown and we had a little bit of spitting going on as far as the frozen precipitation. And the wind has picked up. It does feel like there's something moving in. But I would just like to stipulate that something has happened, something is going on to where, what, they don't want us to monitor their radar systems now as far as the weather? Are the meteorologists themselves behind some of this and not telling us because they are no longer able to forecast responsibly even though they are told what to forecast through like NOAA and the European model and all that uh, strange very strange especially in these days so you know right now it's just a uh, a theory and nothing conspiratorial, but it is one that makes you scratch your head and go, hmm. So on that note, I should be returning back to normal operations. I'm a little bit uh, stymied as to some of the events that, um, that I've dealt with here lately that is quite uh, kind of spooky, actually. And I might go into that a little bit further. Uh, but if you search around in my comments, you'll see that there's been plenty of conversation between me and others over uh, what you all have missed out on since I have not been posting videos. But I have been out there posting comments and replies. But of course, you'll have to dig quite deep because I do have some viewers that are smart and they will go back to past videos 
in order to leave comments from today or currently <laughs> and I like that because there are certain uh, entities out there that like to follow me that like to keep track of me and so you have helped my cause by making it a little bit more difficult for them to do so and I highly appreciate it and I highly appreciate those that have inquired about me the cats the weather and my thoughts and opinions on other topics or subjects so thank you and we'll see you hopefully soon but maybe not on the flip side yet <laughs> take care everyone